Welcome to the On-Premise Agent, or OPA, installation instruction video. Ricardo can securely access your on-premise databases and applications through the OPA, which runs behind the firewall, to connect to Ricardo. This video will help Windows users to install the new on-premise agent. If you're on the Enterprise plan, click your name at the top right-hand corner and a list with the option On-Prem Agent should appear. Here we can create a new agent. A pop-up will prompt you to name your agent. We suggest you use the OPA naming convention, which is to put what the OPA has been used for, what operating system you're using, and lastly, the location. So for example, I might name this agent Marketing Database Windows 10 Palo Alto. Next, Click the Windows Agent button to actually download your OPA. You can also download a Linux version. We run the installer that was just downloaded and follow the instructions of the setup. You can choose the folder you'd like to install the agent in. We can also choose to create a desktop icon and install it as a Windows service. We also need to download the key to the OPA. A unique key is required for the on-prem agent to connect to Workato. We can get this by clicking the download key on the Workato OPA page. Once you've downloaded the zip file named cert.zip containing the key, extract the contents into the conf directory of Workato agent. The config file is located in the conf directory of Workato agent. The config.yml file allows database credentials and file paths to be stored in your machine rather than in Mercado. Let's walk through a few example profiles. The first profile I'll write is for an on-prem MySQL server. Under the title database, I'll first fill in the profile name. Next, there are three fields to fill out. One is the JDBC URL. The next is the username. And lastly, we have the password. Next up, we'll create an on-prem file profile. Under the name files, we'll put in the profile name and then fill in the file path of the directory containing the files you want Ricotta to access. An important note about the config file, this file is a YAML file, which doesn't quite recognize backslashes as intended. Thus, replace all backslashes with the forward slash and the config file should work fine. That wraps up the profiles. Next up, we'll save the config file and run the agent. After editing a config file, you have to restart the agent for the changes to be properly reflected. Also, there cannot be two instances of the agent running at once. Let's test our configuration file with the MySQL connection in Workata. For the on-prem secure agent option, use the OPA you just created. For the on-prem connection profile, fill out the name you gave your database profile. We have a successful connection, which means we can create recipes to interact with their databases. For more information, you can find the OPA documentation in the link in the description below.